Hi everyone, some people will subtract 6 minus 6, which is 0, so they'll write 0, times 5, divided by 4. Then they'll multiply 0 times 5 equals 0. Bring down the division symbol down and the 4 down. And the answer is 0 divided by 4 is 0. And this is wrong. Let me show you how to solve this math problem correctly using PAMDAS. And PAMDAS is telling me to multiply 6 times 5, not subtract 6 minus 6. So what is 6 times 5? 30. So I'll write 30 and then bring down the 6 minus and bring down the division symbol down and the 4 down. Now we're looking at 6 minus 30 divided by 4. Next, let's look at pandas again and see that division will go first, not subtraction. So 30 divided by 4 will go first, not 6 minus 30. So to make the math fun and easy, Let's write 30 divided by 4 in a fraction form, like this, 30 over 4. And let's bring down the 6 in a fraction, fraction form as well, like this, minus. And we all know 6 over 1 equals 6 does not change to 6. Now we're looking at 6 over 1 minus 30 over 4. We're going to use the butterfly method. So we'll make the first wing 6 times 4 equals what? 24. There. And then don't forget the antenna like that. Next, the next wing we draw, 1 times 30 or 30 times 1 equals 30. So I'll write it up there and draw the other antenna just like that. And then we draw the body. 1 times 4 is 4. Now, we're going to subtract 24 minus 30. Let's do subtraction here. Let's uh, like flip it over, <laughs> or turn it around, I mean. So it'll be 30 over 24. And we know the answer is going to be negative. And we borrow, right? So it become 10. 10 minus 4 is 6 and 2 minus 2 is 0. So your numerator will be negative 6. So let me write this a little bit bigger so that you can see. Negative 6, like that. And the 4 will go down here. That is the denominator. Now we're looking at negative 6 over 4. And by the way, we're going to get a, I almost said a whole number, a mixed number answer and a decimal answer from this improper fraction. So I noticed that both numbers <clears throat> are even. So let's just have them like this. 6 divided by 2 equals 3. And we know the answer is negative. So I'll write the negative there. And, and half of 4 is 2. So your improper fraction answer is 3 over 2 negatively, or negative 3 over 2. You cannot break this down to more simple. That's it. This is the answer. Let's go ahead and get our, I um, almost said a whole number, our mixed number answer, which does contain the whole number and a proper fraction next to it. Um, we're going to use long division to find the mixed number answer and get our decimal answer as well. So the three will go inside the long division bar or symbol. That is called the dividend. And then the two um, will be the divisor. And two, how many times can two fit into three? One time and one, let me move this marker out the way. One times two is two. And we subtract 3 minus 2 is 1, right? So now we can write our mixed number answer. So the 1, the whole number, goes here. And we know it's a negative, right? 
Next, the remainder, that is our top number of the proper fraction next to the whole number, which is one, and um, our two goes at the bottom here. So now we have an answer of negative one half. And let's continue the long division to get our decimal answer. So can you fit, how many times can you fit two into one? You cannot, so we need to borrow zero, give it to the one, one becomes 10. We add a decimal after the one. <clears throat> and then how many times can two fit into 10? Five times. And five times two equals 10. And 10 minus 10 equals zero. So your answer is negative 1.5. Look at that. We got three different answers. We got negative 1.5. We got negative 3 over 2. That's the improper fraction. And then our mixed number answer, which is negative 1, 1 over 2. And there you go. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to join the smartest community on YouTube. And thank you so much for watching this video. And I'll see you in the next video. And here's a happy face for you. There you go.